So here's uh, just a quick review of the Yes Welder Cut 45 DS. I just got this yesterday, set it up, and I did a few practice cuts. And today was my first time actually cutting something that I'm trying to make. And it cut pretty good on the first cut. But on the second cut, at the very end, it just stopped. And I thought it was my circuit breaker. However, I went down and checked my circuit breaker and everything, and it was good. But now, it's basically just dead. And usually it would take like a few seconds to power on, but nothing happens at all. And just to show you that it's not a problem with the circuit i'll plug it into my eastwood mig 90. it's hard to do this with two hands i mean one hand but go ahead and power this on power's on just fine so this thing uh lasted about a day and then it just died it was lights out so yeah i don't think i'm Gonna buy any more Yes Welder products, but that's just me. It seems like some people have good luck with them. But anyways, this was just my experience, and um, that's why you try stuff out. So I'm just gonna package it back up and ship it back to Amazon. And I'll get my money back, and I'll maybe try a different brand. Maybe I just got a dud. Who knows? Another thing to point out is that this is a high-frequency start-only machine, so it doesn't have a pilot arc. So it's a little harder to cut through, like, paint it stuff and rust. However, if you kind of sand it down and get it started, it'll cut through, you know, paint, paint it stuff and rust and everything. But it just, it's a little harder to keep it going, I would say. But it might have just been something wrong with this machine, too. I'll have to try another one and see what that one's like. But anyways, I'm just going to try another one and see what happens.